Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 27. In this XAR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to access speech bubbles within the designs gallery. And we're going to break this into two parts actually. And in this first part series, we're going to go over how to access the text panel. I'm sorry, the speech panels. We'll go over how to access them. And we'll be going over how to adjust the text within a speech bubble. And in the part two series, we're going to go over some other features that I think are important and I'll kind of explain to you what you shouldn't do in this tutorial so that I can explain to you the, what will happen in part two or basically I should say it like this in part one we're not going to drag more than one speech panel onto the our workspace and the reason for that is because you're going to get some screen prompts and they may be confusing to you and I want to kind of separate those things apart so in part one, we're only going to use one speech bubble. Do not drag more than one on, and I'll let you know that once we get to that part in the, this tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, you're going to go to the right-hand side of your screen or whichever side you have your panel set up on and look for the option Designs Gallery, which in this case, if you look on the screen, you'll see that mine is in the upper right-hand corner, Designs Gallery. If you don't see that option, you're going to want to go to your options in the upper left hand corner, the utilities, then go to galleries, and you should see a menu that pops out. And you're going to look and make sure that there's a check mark by the designs gallery. If you don't see a checkbox by the designs gallery, you're going to left click on it. But in my case, I have a checkbox mark there, which means that I have it activated. So I can move my cursor off, click in the workspace, and then look to the right side of my screen or wherever you have your setup in place your cursor over designs gallery or left click on it if it doesn't work when you place your cursor over it and once that panel pops out you're gonna go to the the what do you call that button the tack button or the little tack whatever you want to call it in this case you'll see like a little check tack little thing in the upper right hand corner click on that and it's gonna lock that panel that's all you need to know I can't I can't get my words out here today for some reason but you're gonna click that little thumbtack button and it'll it'll lock that panel and once you do that I'm, I've already got the, the speech bubble options open but I'm gonna close it so that you can see how I got there uh, first thing I want to show you is that if you place your cursor over any of these folders it'll show you a preview of what's in that folder so like if we hovered over text panels you'll see that it shows you a preview to the right of the screen and if you do that if you go over any of these folders it'll give you a preview so that you know what's in that folder before you even open it but in this case we're going to go to the text panel folder and left click on that and it'll expand it and you'll see two options you'll see text panels and speech bubbles I have mines open so I'm going to close it now with that closed you should see something more like this. You should see two subfolders. One is speech bubbles and the other is text panels. We're going to left click on the one that says speech bubbles. And when you left click on that folder, it'll give you some more options for that and you'll see all the options for speech bubbles. And if you click your left click your scroll bar to the right of this panel, you'll be able to scroll down and see all the different uh speech speech bubbles that you have available. And to use one of these speech bubbles, you'll just left click on it and then hold that left click mouse button down and drag to your workspace. And remember what I said earlier in the tutorial, we're only going to drag one speech bubble. So pick the speech bubble that you want to use. Do not drag more than one on the screen because you'll get some prompts. And there's some things that I want to explain to you, to you in the part two series of this tutorial so that you understand what you need to do to help it make make things easier for you to modify these speech bubbles because it, you'll get a lot of colors that you'll have to deal with depending on how many speech bubbles you drag in and pe depending on the options that you choose but don't worry about that for this tutorial just remember don't drag more than one speech panel in meaning if you left click and drag on another one that will bring up the prompt and you may not understand what it's asking you so don't do that just drag in the one that you want and let's go ahead and start modifying this speech bubble First thing that I'll show you is that if you double click on the text, it'll bring up that the little line here, and that's for your column text. And if you click on any of these end nodes, I don't know if you can see them since it's a green, you know, red on green. 
but if you can see that there you're going to click on the edge of that red line that goes to the end and you can drag it outward by left clicking and dragging to the right and it will increase the width of that speech bubble if you drag it inward it will decrease that speech bubble and the text will be kind of more so vertical and so to change the, the shape of this speech bubble depending on the, so the width of this text panel or text column it'll adjust so we can make it really small and you have a really long speech bubble or you can make it really long and you have a really wide speech bubble so you can adjust the width and if you add text if you click at the end of this paragraph and you start typing more text you'll see that it automatically increases it in real time and if you hit enter and start typing again enter and type again you'll see that the speech panel always adjusts according to the width of this text column so it's pretty unique now you're probably wondering well how do I change the colors of this text panel well go ahead and select your selection tool in the toolbar to deselect that text and then just click a blank space in your your workspace document and once you do that you'll have it deselected and let's go to the color editor and that's at the lower left hand corner of your screen if you left click on that icon brings up your color editor and we're going to click in this drop down menu within our color editor and you're going to see that there is a divider between your normal colors up here at the top and then there's some other colors beneath that and you'll see like a little a line dividing it. your name colors that's what these are called are below your normal colors so thin color one and light text is related to this speech panel or speech bubble and any any speech bubbles that you drag in will have what's called name colors and I'll explain that in the next tutorial don't worry about understanding how to actually use the name colors in the sense of actually naming them just know that when you drag in a speech bubble it'll have some predefined names for it and those names are the theme color one and light text and if you look at this colored box here it's white and light text is referring to the color of the text that is on the speech bubble and then you have theme color one which is referring to the background color of that speech bubble which in this case if you look at it it is green now these top colors is just telling you what the current fill color and current line color are so if you click on theme color one let's select that and you change that color by dragging this cross here you'll see that the speech panels background color or speech bubbles background color will change in real time and it's changing multiple colors through a named color and the theme color one is considered a named color and you'll see that that named color changes that specific object now if you go to light text and within that drop down menu if you left click on it and select it you'll be able to adjust that text color that's inside so if you wanted to have black text instead of white text you would drag towards the black color within your color editor and I probably would adjust the theme color upward to a brighter color since you're dealing with the black text you don't want to have such a dark blue you want to have to have a lighter blue and any color you want to have it in lighter range when you're dealing with the a, a black text so that's how you change the colors of a, a speech pup speech bubble and you know that's how you adjust the the width and just like before even though we changed the color if you went back and double clicked on that text you can again adjust the width of this text column still and still you can go back to the color editor and adjust your theme color to whatever you want so the nice thing about it is you're not changing individual color values it's changing multiple color values at once through one named color which in this case is called theme color one so just know that theme color one is changing multiple colors at once. There's a a hue of colors here. You can see that at the bottom it's kind of a darkish bluish purple and at the top it kind of fades to a lighter color. And that's all being changed via one named color, which in this case is called theme color one. And the light text is what changes the color of the text. You can make it white, 
in this case you probably wouldn't want to use white text because it's a a lighter color background for the speech bubble so you probably want to go towards more of a black so I hope that helps you in understanding how to adjust the text within the text panel and adjusting the color of the text panel using the the built-in name colors and I'm sorry if I didn't mention that in the beginning that we would we would cover the colors a little bit and uh, that's my fault I'll, I'll make sure to make a a correction in that when I modify it, this video I'll probably add, add that into the beginning description so that you know that we're going to cover that but if you have any questions please do send me a, a uh, email on YouTube or to my inbox or leave a comment and if this video was helpful in helping you understand how to modify the text and the background of the speech bubble within a speech bubble panel Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe or if you had any troubles give us some suggestions so that we can help improve the quality of these videos. Thanks again for viewing lesson number 27 on speech bubbles and stay tuned for part 2 where we'll show you what you should take in consideration when dragging more than one speech bubble into the, to the program. And thanks again. Have a great day.